Planet Dolan. Who held Masterpiece's ransom? Who hid dead bodies in their yard? We count 15 people who kept secrets from the world. Hi there! My name is Doopy, and I'm here to tell you some really interesting things that you might not have heard before. Number 15. Arsene Godertier. The Ghent altarpiece is a 12-panel long masterpiece that was made in the early 15th century and somehow managed to survive historical riots and fires throughout its existence. However, in 1934, two masked men stole a couple of the painting's panels in the middle of the night and held them ransom. The thieves returned one of the panels but kept the other. Eventually, a man called Arsene Godertier declared on his deathbed that he was the only person who knew where the last panel was hidden. But he died without ever telling anyone. The whereabouts of the panel are still unknown to this day. Number 14. Derek Percy One of the most notorious murderers in Australia's history died before police found out his most terrible secrets. After being convicted of murdering a 12-year-old girl in 1969, police were pretty sure Derek Percy was responsible for the murders of other children but they didn't have proof. After he died of lung cancer in 2013, authorities found a storage facility full of Percy's darkest fantasies scrawled in thousands of documents. One of his diaries helped police trace a map of his travels, which coincided with a map of eight other murder sites. Number 13. Evaliste Galois the father of modern algebra might have been an even bigger contributor to history if he hadn't died violently at a young age. Evaliste Galois wrote a revolutionary manuscript to a friend, but in his haste to write it, he didn't explain it completely. In 1832, Galois was challenged to a duel. No one is sure what the duel was about. Some say it was over a scandalous love affair, Others say it was due to his radical political views. Either way, he was brutally killed. It took specialists decades to figure out Galois' unfinished manuscript, which is now called Galois Theory. Number 12. Nacho Bitch Before Facebook, people tended to live more private and adventurous lives. Sometimes they even had double lives. A user called Nacho Bitch on Reddit described how after her grandmother died, she made a startling discovery. As she was taking her grandmother's clothes to a charity store, she found a love letter addressed to her grandmother in a coat pocket. The note was not written by her grandfather, but a soldier from World War II who died shortly after writing it. For 60 years, her grandmother carried around the mysterious love letter right up until the day she died. Number 11. Hollywood Sometimes it seems like celebrities can get away with just about anything, even a little bit of murder. During the filming of the timeless Hollywood classic Noah's Ark, the director had some pretty questionable ways of capturing a scene. There is a rumor that the director, Michael Curtis, was responsible for three extras drowning in a water scene because they were in heavy costumes with no flotation devices and he didn't tell them they were going to be submerged in water for several hours. The stuntman who apparently witnessed the drowning said Hollywood brushed it all under the rug and no charges were ever laid. Number 10. Judy Garland Hollywood seems to be a place full of grim secrets behind the big screens. The actress whose most famous role was Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz was known to the public as an American sweetheart, but behind the scenes she was literally being pushed to the edge of her sanity. The actress was allegedly tormented and abused so badly by the people around her that she ended up attempting suicide in a mental asylum. Her deteriorated health was covered up in order to please the Hollywood audiences in the public image of her agents. Number 9. Beethoven's Crush 
Imagine living your entire life knowing that you're in love with someone, but you could never tell them. Famous German composer Ludwig von Beethoven left a mysterious 10-page letter to an unknown recipient in his personal belongings after his death. It was entitled Immortal Beloved and was obviously intended for a woman who he was deeply in love with. None of his biographers know who Beethoven's secret love was. He took his secret to the grave. Number 8. Moto Grandad When a grandparent dies, people will often share stories about their lives and sometimes those stories can be quite surprising. A Reddit user whose grandfather passed away found an old medal in his belongings. There was an image of two men balancing on a motorbike in the medallion. After asking his father what it was for, he found out that his grandfather had been an acrobat in the late 1960s specializing in motorcycle stunts. Something as fascinating as that, and his grandfather didn't even mention it once. Number 7 Thomas Mayer. Sometimes you think you know your neighbors, and sometimes they turn out to be murderers. In 2016, a town in England was rattled when Thomas Mayer, a disability assistant and volunteer worker, brutally murdered a member of parliament with his bare hands. After shooting and stabbing his victim to death, Police seized Mayer's belongings and found out he was a raging Nazi sympathizer. People who knew him were astounded at the revelation of his extremist views and couldn't believe he was capable of murder. Number 6. James Black In a time when craftsmanship and technical mastery were booming, one American blacksmith was doing pretty damn well for himself. James Black was renowned for his sharpness and quality of his steel. Whenever he worked on his steel, he did so behind a leather curtain so that nobody could see his technique. Unfortunately, Black's father-in-law was deranged, and after a spontaneous and violent altercation, Black was left completely blind. He lived out the rest of his days silently, not telling a single soul his mysterious steel-making processes. Number 5. Vivian Meyer We've all got hobbies, but some of us feel like society can't handle our secret passions. A woman called Vivian Meyer spent all 86 years of her life taking tens of thousands of photos of the world around her without showing a single photo to anyone. A film director bought her mysterious box of undeveloped film in 2007 and printed every single image. Her photographs were considered some of the most important works of the 20th century. Vivian Meyer was an instant star, but died shortly after, never to realize the masterpieces she made. Number 4. Joseph Fritzl Unlike Vivian Meyer, this guy had less of a hobby and more like a sinister psychopathic impulse. Joseph Fritzl became a notorious name recognized around the world when it was revealed in 2008 that he had kept his daughter in an underground cellar for 24 years, starting when she was 18. He even violently impregnated his own daughter, who gave birth to seven children, three of which never saw daylight until their discovery, and one twin who died after birth. For 24 years, Elizabeth Fritzl lived a life of horrors, and since her escape, she now lives in the countryside with her children. Number 3. Millie Vanilli When a new soul-pop music duo appeared on the charts in Germany, people were pretty surprised to find out their secret. Fans of their music discovered that their beloved Millie Vanilli didn't actually sing, not on stage and not even on their own records. On stage, they lip-synced, and on their albums, they got completely different people to sing. Basically, all they did was mime. They even fooled people enough to win a Grammy for Best New Artist. Unsurprisingly, it was taken back from them when they were exposed. Number 2. Margaret Bulkley 
James Barry was the top-ranked doctor in the British Army, first surgeon to ever succeed in performing a cesarean section, and even healed Napoleon's son. His secret was pretty shocking, though. After dying of dysentery, the nurses who performed an autopsy on James Barry found out that not only was he not James Barry, but also he wasn't even a man. Her real name was Margaret Bulkley, and she was forced to pretend to be a man in order to become a doctor because women weren't allowed. No one suspected a thing her entire life, which is weird because the autopsy showed that she even gave birth while she masqueraded as a man. Number 1. Ahmad Siraji. In 1997, some field workers found a lone corpse laying in a field, which was the start of a morbid investigation. Another body was uncovered slowly after, which led investigators to the property of Ahmad Siraji. After his arrest, police found that Siraji had strangled and murdered up to 42 women and girls and even drank their saliva because he believed it would give him superpowers. After an 11-year killing spree, the self-proclaimed shaman was sentenced to death by firing squad. His wife was also convicted for assisting in the murders and was convicted to life in prison. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.